In this video, we are going to look at an alternative that comes installed with a Linux Mint already, LibreOffice, uh, which is able to replace a Microsoft Office if you've been using that before. Uh, so now let's uh, look at how to find it. this. Uh, first of all, here if you go to your start menu and in the Office category, you've got several entries and that are related to LibreOffice. If you want to start a LibreOffice itself to uh, go uh, from there to any other place you can open this and from here you can uh, open any type of or create any type of a uh, document and that uh, you might um, want to create and that are equivalent to uh, Microsoft Office right first of all here we've got a writer which is an equivalent of Word then calc which is equivalent to Excel and Impress which is equivalent to PowerPoint. Okay, for example, you see uh, here you get a list of recent documents. If you simply want to write a document, you can also go ahead and open LibreOffice Writer directly. Let me do that. Uh, here you write uh, whatever text you want or you use uh, templates, uh, whatever you might want to do. And then you can save your document. Let me save it in the a documents folder and now if we look at the documents folder here on my machine you can see it's saved with a .odt extension right this is the um, LibreOffice uh, file format it's an open uh, file format if you want to exchange uh, your data with uh, other people uh, using Microsoft Office, you can also choose to save as. And here at the bottom right side, uh, use in the corresponding Microsoft Word format. Okay, so it would be saved with the same content. I can uh, confirm this warning, but uh, with another file extension. As you can see here, I now got a, a file with the same name, but .x and my folder. Now then the second thing here is LibreOffice Calc, which is an equivalent uh, to Excel, right? Uh, let's uh, now put some uh, data here. And here again, uh, you can save this and let's save it in, in this uh, documents folder. From here again, uh, also once you have uh, this uh, document saved, you can open it. Let me uh, close this uh, completely and open this and you see it's opening and directly with the uh, respective application uh, also here we can save it as a, a excel xlsx uh, format okay and confirm this warning you can switch off this warning as you might have seen and also for these um, microsoft formats i can uh, open the, them directly by a double clicking okay um, one more thing for example i've been using this to create the presentations here uh, which is equivalent to powerpoint is LibreOffice impress okay um, maybe you want to use a template or uh, otherwise you create a, a blank presentation okay you give it uh, some title you put your uh, content here and also this uh, can be saved in uh, all of these uh, formats in their own LibreOffice format or in the uh, corresponding, as you can see here at the bottom, um, format for Microsoft PowerPoint PPTX. Okay, but I don't want to show in this now. Uh, one more feature I wanted to point out here for all these um, Office applications, they usually have this export directly as a PDF feature. Okay, so I can, for example, I convert my presentation into a PDF. Now here my presentation is stored as a PDF and is automatically opened within the PDF reader on my computer. And one more feature, uh, you want maybe to print something, which you can do in almost any application in Linux Mint. You can go to print, but not print it directly, but uh, print it to a file. And here also you uh, can um, uh, use in this format then to maybe easier uh, exchange your data with others. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now go ahead and try uh, for yourself, post your questions in the Q&A and see you in the next video.